CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. Will there be lens milk? Part one. Well, carefully, is this an intumescent cataract? So looking very carefully, can you predict will there be lens milk? Or in other words, liquefied lens cortex that's going to come out of that capsule bag. Look carefully. What do you notice here? It's kind of a uniform whitish color. It's not that pearlescent. Here's some tripan blue dye going in. We'll get this stained, start the rex. Now the question is, do you think this has a big risk for Argentinian flag sign? That's the question. So diluting that down, put some viscoelastic in. Can you tell just by looking at the slit lamp prior to surgery or even here on the OR table that if you poke at that lens cap, you're going to get some lens milk? Now, one of the things that I've shown you in the past is we can actually touch that lens capsule, like right now with that cannula. As you put the viscoelastic in, touch that cannula to the lens capsule. Does it feel pressurized? Does it feel like the bag or the anterior lens capsule is bouncy? Let's see the main incision being made. Here we go. And now let's see. What's your answer to the quiz? Come on, answer quickly, quickly. What do you think? What do you think? Is it more viscoelastic? Okay. I touched the capsule there. Can you touch it? Okay, no touching. I like to touch it. And now let's go in with the forceps here. And you can tell when you poke in. What do you think? Answer is no lens milk. Look at that. So not an intumescent case. Now get the rexes done here and watch. There's going to be essentially no lens milk at all. Capsule's a little fibrotic there. I see that going on. Probably had a white cataract for quite some time. No lens milk. So really the risk of run out capsule rexes or Argentinian flag signs pretty low here. But how could you tell? Again, it's, it's sometimes it's a bit of a challenge. But to me, that uniform color where it's kind of a little more yellowy than it is that like pure whitish. Sometimes with a white cataract, you'll see little clefts of water in there. And that can be a, a hint. But in this one, look at that. No lens milk at all. And so now a little bit of hydro dissection. We'll finish the rest of the cataract case. Now tomorrow is also a cataract quiz, part two. Same challenge. Look at the case tomorrow, and can you tell the difference? Now, if you're a young surgeon, a beginning surgeon, a resident surgeon, I'm teaching you some magic here. This is some really good stuff because we're going to learn what are the things that help us identify ahead of time that there could be danger here. And so now, at this point, time to get that FACO probe going. That's the a surgeon could probably do some chop. Got a chopper here on the left hand. Looks like a ball tip chopper. FACO probe in the right hand. Brexit looks pretty good. And clean up some of that anterior lens material. And what are we going to do here? Horizontal chop probably with that thing. You're not going to do a vertical chop with that chopper. Horizontal chopper it is. Look at that. And boom. And that, that chops beautifully. Not too dense. Uh, let's set up that camera a little bit, my friend. And another chop. Come on, set up the camera. And then take these pieces out. rest of the case can be pretty routine. Let's watch it. Let's learn together. Now, temp sitting here temporally. Looks like good exposure here. Drapes are good. Eyelashes are out of the way. All right. Get that piece buzz in here. Bring that piece up. Go chopper, go around it. There it is. And now you've almost removed the first hemonucleus. The second hemonucleus will come up pretty easily. There we go. Setting up the camera now. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. And then again, not a real dense cataract. Just one of these white cataracts that with not too many brunescent features. And then again, not much lens cortex that was liquefied. So you can see the lens cortex here is coming out with that epinucleus shell, but very interesting type of case. So I think sometimes you see this more often when the eyes are sitting there for longer. If they have a white cataract for a very prolonged period of time of many years, sometimes they'll absorb some of the fluid there and they can have this uh, less risk of an Argentinian flag sign. Whereas they get an, a white cataract in a short period of time, it may be a highly pressurized bag. And again, my trick is I like to touch the anterior lens capsule to see, is it pressurized? Is it bouncy? Check it with your, your irrigation cannula. Hey, let me also tell you about our amazing podcast. Every Sunday, a beautiful podcast. Only an hour long, everywhere where you find your podcast. It's an amazing podcast. We talk to a surgeon and learn what are the secrets to success. Teach me something that'll make my future more successful. And it's free. And I'm doing it for you. So you got to check it out. Now, all right, cataracts out. Let's clean up the cortex. Again, with this type of cataract, not a whole lot of cortex remaining. Clean this up as much as you can. If there is some scarring on that posterior capsule, what do you do? What if it was a fibrotic posterior capsule? You know what? I'll leave it be. Try to take it out if you want, but just get the lens, and you can always do a YAG laser another time. And if there's a little bit of a lens material that's fibrotic or kind of stuck on that capsule bag, 
you just yag it. This patient started off with essentially hand motion vision, or as I like to say, if you move your hand fast enough, uh, wind perception vision. Now it's like the surgeons turn the light off to load up the lens. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. That's why we got to sit through this. So I like that you're not putting excess light down the macula. So you got the lights turned off, but okay, get the lens loaded up. Uh, you must be a young surgeon, and then you're loading your lens yourself, which is fantastic. Everyone has to know how to do that. So one day you may have a scrub tech who doesn't really know how to load the lens for you. And you want to be able to do that on your own. All right, I'm not enjoying sitting here in the dark. There we go. Let's get that light back on. And here comes our lens. And let's see, chopper fixating the eye. And here comes the lens, a single piece of acrylic lens. Oh, get that flipped over the correct orientation. You did, 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 did. Don't want it to be the wrong way. So now two instruments going in there. Okay, get it flipped correctly. There we go. And now deliver that in there. The lens in the bag. Looks pretty good. There's the Rexus. Very nice case here. So how can you tell? In this case, my clues were, well, it didn't have those water clefts in it. It didn't look like it was very pressurized. I would have touched the lens capsule with the cannula to see, is it pressurized? Is there something I need to do here? And then go ahead and complete the case. Now, you can always be cautious and do like a double rex technique or something similar just because, you know what, better to be safe than sorry, and I like that idea. Here again, sealing up the incisions. Remember, cataractcoach.com, the website, has so much great material there. If you're a young doctor, free cataract coach book, free curriculum, it's all free. I do all of this truly just for you.